Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. In this edition, we talk about bicycling, uh, cycling as an activity for many RVers. So as you uh, drive down the road, you see many a bike on the back or the front of an RV. And they come in all kinds of shapes, sizes, and colors. And some are electric, some are just uh, manually operated. You just move your little feet and the bike gets going. So I'm going to be talking about the different types of bicycles available currently on the market. My wife and I are avid cyclists. We like to go out and uh, take our bikes out uh, for a little ride once in a while. Uh, my current mountain bike I've had for 25 years. I bought it in San Francisco in 1995. Let's start off uh, talking about bike racks. This is Swagman. Of course, there's a, a Thule brand. There's all kinds of different brands of bike racks out there. So you got a two uh, bike bike rack, and then you have your bumper adapter. Again, uh, if you're going to put a bike on your bumper, you better make sure your bumper can handle the weight. Number one rule in understanding cycling, electric bikes typically weigh twice, yes, twice as much as a manually operated and pedaled bike okay so when picking a bike rack make sure you get the right one that's uh, that can handle the weight it's always a good idea if you're gonna leave a bike in the back of uh, your RV and you're gonna go camping do some activity one that's cheap <laughs> a cheap bike this is a hundred fifty dollar after taxes and stuff a bike you can leave it on your hitch and if somebody steal it steals it you're not going to be crying that somebody stole your five thousand dollar e-bike this bike uh, you'll cry for a couple days but you'll get over it uh, relatively quickly for a little over two hundred dollars with uh, when you consider taxes here's a nice uh, bike step through bike and uh, it's available at Kohl's yes Kohl's you can buy bicycles there on their website again the previous one was at Target of course you can go to Walmart your local bike shop anywhere you want you can go on Amazon there's a lot of different places where you can buy a very nice inexpensive bike but what's your budget maybe you uh, you want something super super nice super sweet you like to go road biking you like to go from here to there 100 miles and then come back and you call it good and uh, you can do that some of us can some of us can't I often go to REI bikes uh, REI shop outdoor shop over here at the mall and check out their bikes and outdoor wear they have a very nice selection of bikes for adults for children uh, catering to different levels and expectations they even have electric bikes and they have their own brand too I see a lot of YouTubers uh, reviewing these electric bikes, electric without the E, and they are step through and come in different varieties and types, uh, non-step through, and but they fold. They fold very nicely, and they're relatively inexpensive as e-bikes go for a thousand bucks. They're not two thousand. They're not three thousand. They're only a thousand bucks, but they're pretty rudimentary bikes. And with those small tires, you're going to have to do a lot, a lot of work. But they're pretty good for going around the campsite, maybe going down a small trail, a uh, level trail, <laughs> nothing uphill, nothing too uh, demanding. Rad Power Bikes, they're fantastic. I've read only good things about them. For two grand, you can get a Rad Rover 6 Plus, either a step through or just a regular bike. And uh, for two grand, you get a very nice bike. I highly recommend these bikes from what I've heard and read. They're solidly built, well designed, and uh, have the latest features. I really like Rad Rover 6 Plus, and also their other brands of bikes. And again, these are electric bikes. You're gonna have to charge them. <laughs> they do not get charged by themselves. You're gonna have to plug them in somewhere and get them uh, uh, fully charged before you hit the road. Adventure is a very nice line of uh, bikes by the fine folks at Aventon. Uh, an upscale bike. I consider this an upscale bike for two grand. If you're spending two grand for a bike, not a thousand bucks, you should be getting a lot of better stuff. This one goes uh, about 28 miles per hour and has a range of about 45 miles with a battery. Uh, don't trust that. It might only go 25. I would uh, check it out a couple times and make sure you know the range of your battery. 
it has four inch fat tires nice little uh you know uh, features and i love the different colors down the street from my house about seven miles is uh pedago bicycles i've gone to their shop and they have quite quite the inventory of bikes all kinds of mid-drive bikes uh hub powered bikes uh cruisers mountain bikes folding bikes yeah, everything down there and of course a big selling point for pedago bikes is that they have a national sales network at all kinds of shops across the country where you can get it fixed if you have any issues of course you can always go to amazon and buy one of these uh who knows what brand bikes hey bike hey hey bike uh and then of course uh 630 and other brands of bikes they have a whole bunch of bikes that they're selling uh, from uh, China uh, directly to the American market and they're very happy to ship it to you it might take a while but you've got a bike and uh, you have to be uh, very good at assembling your own bike if you have the cash and only if you have the cash get one of these this gazelle ultimate c380 plus HMB sweet belt drive nice transmission in the hub and mid drive very nice i like mid-drive bicycles with belt drive and a nice transmission in the back some of these uh, have uh, you know only a few speeds some of these other brands not this one has like a 14 speed transmission wow yeah but this one has a few less gears but it's still significant in price and also in features i would love one of these units again this is a gazelle ultimate Talking about mid drives, Bosch makes about a dozen different types of mid drives, and that's where you pedal typically. There's going to be a motor in there, so it's going to help you move. Uh, there's no uh, hub motor, the motor's right there where you pedal. And um, there's different features of pedaling some have pedal assist, sometimes you just press and go, and you don't have to do any pedaling. Again, pedal assist or some uh, units offer, you know, just, uh, you know, you just, you know, twist the grip and you're gone. Just like a motorcycle. There's a dirty little motorcycle right there. Gates Carbon Drive. Again, uh, they make, instead of a chain, you get a belt drive. It keeps your lower part of your leg <laughs> nice and clean. And it's very quiet and should last well, at least a decade or two. Uh, very well designed they, they make these things for cars motorcycles and for a uh, bicycle it should last S seriously it should last for the life of the bicycle no rust no grease no fooling gates carbon drive very 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 nice i highly recommend it from everything i've read on the internet and of course everything on the internet is 100 percent true we know that huh let me click on this photograph. It's a nice colorful photograph. This one has the uh, belt drive and a transmission in the back. Again, some manufacturers have like 14 gears. That's a lot of gears. And you just twist and shift your gears. And sometimes it's even automatic. As you pedal, it goes, oh, it's feeling the stress and then shifts for you. Very nice. Here's a lady sitting next to her cool bike. Uh, has all white features and a red chain. Can't go wrong with that very stylish woman very stylish bike I'll be leaving a link in the description to the uh, you know RV life web page which describes all the different bikes available at least last the last year a comprehensive guide to e-bikes for RVers from RV life the very fine folks at RV life if you have any questions about bikes feel free to contact me i've been riding bikes since i was a little kid like many of you out there of course bikes have evolved uh, over the years over the decades from manual bikes different kinds of derailers different kinds of transmissions mid-drive hub drive electric bikes the list goes on and on and on and on and there's my mug right there don't throw any darts please because you'll cause damage to your monitor don't do that so check out my website, uh, rvta.myportfolio.com. There you can see some of my photographs and enjoy some of my pics. I would highly, highly recommend it. I'd like to thank you for watching my video. 
Let's go over some of the bikes we talked about. We talked about budget bikes, you know, bikes that are affordable. And if somebody steals it, you know, the RV park is while you're camping or gone to ch check downtown to have some spaghetti and meatballs, you know, or pizza, <laughs> or have a couple set of SS. You're not, when you come back in your truck or your suburban or whatever, you're not gonna say, hey, w w what happened to my $5,000 bike I had hitched on the back? Well, it uh, disappeared, and I and we all apologize for that. But there are some folks out there that aren't aren't so nice. Okay, so if you're gonna have a nice bike, you better have a nice place inside your RV where you can store it, where nobody can see it or steal it. That's my suggestion. If you're gonna leave something outside, I would get something relatively inexpensive, a hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred bucks, and you should be able to go. Of course, they're not gonna be powered. Of course, you get one that stows. An electric bike that folds, that would help too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super, super, absolutely fabulous and brilliant co comments below. Gracias. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. This is my modest YouTube channel. I'm talking about bikes because I've been riding bikes, it seems like forever. Hope you're doing fantastic. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.